In the previous video, we started Windows PE, pre-execution environment, and ran the script uh, startnet.command, which pinged the server until it, uh, the network was up and running, and having found it, it stopped. Now we're going to um, extend that. So having found it, it now mounts a share, um, ch changes directory to the share, and runs a script called menu, which is displaying on the screen now and this menu will allow you to install various flavors of of windows and i'm going to show you how to do this on linux because the dhcp server we're using is linux and so the share is going to be run using samba samba simplicity itself is set up and i'm going to show that now now samba needs to be installed we do that with uh, apt-get And it's already installed. The next thing to do, I've already installed it, so the next thing to do is to configure it. Now the configuration um, changes, or well, let's say extra, extra bit in smb.conf, is I've set dead time to five minutes. This means that if a share is not being used, um, the connection is deleted after five minutes. The default is not to, con not to de delete it. Um, it doesn't matter deleting the connection because most clients, including Windows, will reconnect if it needs to. <coughs> but the problem is keeping these open shares after you've installed a version of Windows um, eventually can swamp uh, Samba. So that needs to be five minutes. Um, the other thing is I've called the NetBIOS name of this server, Red Server. Um, as I say, the, the Red Network is the one that we're using to wipe and install uh, systems it's not the office LAN and the key thing here is that we're going to bind to interfaces only and the interface that we're going to use is the red network connection EN01 um, so your server will have to have other interfaces like EN02 uh, which will connect to the internet or the rest of the office network um, or if you're just doing this on a laptop as a test, that could be the uh, wireless interface. Next thing to do is to define the share, and uh, the share is going to be in Valve Server Sources. It's read-only, it's browsable, and guests can connect to it. So, the update to Startnet, which stopped after having found the server, is we're going to now mount the share <clears throat> doesn't need a password because it's a guest um, read only and having done that it changes directory to the server itself the y drive and runs menu menu is the uh, script that i showed you running on the client and here it is. By the way, all these scripts are going to be in the comments, so you can you can cut and paste them, and in GitHub. So here's the menu. It is actually checking to see if the system has been wiped. So it's actually looking for um, to see if the, the there is a disk with a partition, and in the partition if there's a folder called Windows, and if there is, it uh, prints this message: uh, system might not have been wiped. In which case you ought to have bought the install and go wipe it unless it's the sort of second time you've tried this. Um, the menu is pretty simple. It um, uh, you have to enter a one, two, three, four, or five, and if it's one, it will install um, Windows 10 using the um, name of the installation files that it finds in version dot. In this case, tt text. Now this is um, this is something that uh, we'll go into um, later. The reason for this is you can have um, multiple versions of the install. Um, that means for instance if you're developing a new one you can you not put it into production but you can test it and when it's ready you can switch over um, version tt.txt uh, to point to the newest one. 
this mean, this means that if there's lots of machines that are installing using an existing um, installation basically directory and you want to introduce a new one you just switch it over and then the next new install will read version the, the version file and start using that um, this is really just to um, to make sure that uh, the the installation files are um, working properly before you launch it into production uh, there's various versions of this there's, there's the minimum version um, and there's also ability to look at the startup logs if the start if the uh, installation failed and finally return to DOS so the file that we were talking about to select the production version or the directory containing the production version just contains one line with the name of the directory so if we actually had a look at here if we had a look at bar server sources see in this case it's got min1 and min2 so min1 is the production one min2 is the development one which is you know being worked on and um, all installations will use min1 right going back to the going back to the uh, uh, menu script the way this does it is it's looking for tokens in it's looking for the line in uh, the version file and when it finds it sets the directory to it and goes to it CDs to the directory defined in this file in this file here uh, when it then it runs setup which does the installation and uh, if you aborted it by which you can do during the installation it will go back to menu and let you try again or select a different uh, a dis different install of Windows. Right, so that's that. And I'll just show you um, this system working. And uh, the first thing we need to do is restart Samba. It restarted and we'll just have a look at the status. Okay, it's running. So that's ready to go. So we'll just restart this computer by exiting to DOS and then exiting this. And there it goes rebooting. So it's rebooted into the Grub menu and to launch the Windows 10 installers runs ipixie I'll pause this while it uh, completes okay here's it starting winpe and the startnet script and the first thing it does is initialize the devices and then starts pinging looking for the server which doesn't the network card doesn't come up immediately well, there it goes. Eventually it finds it. Found the server. That's as far as we got last time. Now it's going to stop some modules, mount the share, and start the menu. And that's it.